Secret Service team, the Eagle has landed and is making his way down the helicopter stairs. We know his history with stairs and this could be a disaster. Stand by. Eagle has made it down the stairs. He was a little wobbly at the end, but he made it. Eagle appears to be very disoriented today. We're going to need to do like last time and point out exactly where we need him to go. Secret Service team, prepare a point. Hold that point. Perfect. No way he could miss that. Eagle will be turning in five, four, three, two. He missed his mark. He missed his mark. Eagle is wandering. Jesus Christ. All units be advised. We are going to need a pretty lady or small child of some sort with nice smelling hair to get the eagle back on track. And we've lost visual. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Thank you. You guys ought to know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor, hit the like, hit that subscribe, for favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today? What are we talking about today? Man, oh, man, so it's been over a week now since we got this guilty verdict from uh, New York State saying Donald Trump is guilty. And still to this day, there's no liberal out here that can't articulate what's the verdict. Why was he found guilty? Nobody's out there can articulate it. We have Megan Kelly here. Megan Kelly is one of my favorites. Subscribe to her channel. Uh, she's on with this guy here, and he tried to explain. Go. No matter what it's for, right? Even if it's illegal conduct, you can just put it. It's an illegal expense, right? This wasn't. This wasn't illegal. There's nothing illegal about paying hush money for an no. NDA. It's done there, there's not. all but the time. But when you're doing it to protect your campaign, it is. That's the difference. No. So, yeah. What law? What law are you citing, Dan? Campaign law? finance laws. You're not allowed to wrong. give the. You don't know what you're talking what about. What are you talking? You're what, wrong. It, it, explain to me. Let me explain tell, to you. tell me what I'm Let getting me wrong. To you. Tell me what I'm getting Campaign wrong. Campaign finance law will only. I'll explain. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I get it because you're saying that there are limits to the campaign contributions somebody could make, and this has exceeded them, and then they hit it. I understand. That's his theory. However, th this has been wrong from the start. Yeah. It does not amount to a campaign contribution if it is the kind of payment that could ever be made outside that, of the campaign context. That's not the context. standard. The standard is yes, substantiality. It is. It's not. It's, it's substantiality. No, it's not. Yes, it You're is. You're wrong. Try okay. No, it's well, not. I guess we're going to have to agree to There's been Supreme Court disagree. precedent on this. And, Talk uh, to yes, Brad there, Smith, who was the FEC court commissioner. There's court after court that, 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 that the standard You're is wrong. substantiality. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. So we have another one. We have Piers Morgan. Now, Piers Morgan, he's across the pond. He don't have a dog in a fight. But he still needs this burning question to be answered. So he gathered three of the top bright liberals that he can find. We got Kevin O'Leary. We have this lawyer here. I forget his name. He's a Democrat. And... We also have Francesca What's Her Face, this so-called female comedians. Now, there's no such thing as a female comedian. Okay, there are females, there are comedians, but female comedians, that's like some are on. <laughs> anyway. So Piers Morgan, get this little Pop Tart here, who's snarky, who believes that she's smarter than the average bear, and Piers Morgan's fillets her. Go. Into it. I will say this about Stormy Daniels. I think it's incredible that she accepted $130,000 uh, from Michael Cohen because honestly, if I had the misfortune of sleeping with Donald Trump, no matter what the circumstances, let's say I had mad cow and then I did DMT on an empty stomach. If I had the misfortune of sleeping with Donald Trump, there is no amount of money you could pay me to keep quiet about it because... I would never tell a single soul. I would fake my own death and move to the Galapagos and pretend to be a bird. I mean, I would say it's very unlikely you would ever get the offer, but you do look quite like Karen McDougal, funny enough. <laughs> Damn, Pierce, you burnt her. <laughs> anyway, so 
the interview continues to go on and Piers Morgan gives her enough rope to hang herself and embarrass herself. Go. Francesca, just on that point, what crime did Trump commit? He, it was it was camp it was financial crimes it was white collar crimes it was it, what that was is it? exactly Which what one, they though? charged him it was he was convicted on what was the crime it's New York State law I understand it, what's the, it, what was the crime it is New Francesca I, gotta, I, actually I don't even not, like it, it is well, hang on, hang on, he just there. got convicted on thirty four counts Francesca what of, was the of, crime of, of like cooking the actual books what was the crime you are not allowed so you are not allowed to to use your own financial, like your own money to pay off somebody. And then he wrote, he, he logged it as something different. He logged it as just a regular payment, but he was actually paying off this porn star to keep quiet, which if he hadn't been running for president would not have mattered, but he was. And so it impacted campaign finance laws in New York state. Okay. That is what one Merchan just oversaw this. Okay. Alan Bragg okay. brought these charges that's, because that's Michael not, Cohen that's not quite was happened. already okay. sentenced okay. to three years okay. to do it. Let's just go before. Kevin, I'd be very, very, very patient. Look, I will come no, to you. Look, I'm no expert. Let me just say, hang on. No, no, Michael, Francesca, you are no expert. By the that's way. Francesca, the campaign finance wait, 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 law is a federal wait. law. Hang on. <laughs> just like a typical liberal who's gloating about Donald Trump found him guilty cannot explain the verdict. All right. They all fall into the same trap of talking about campaign finance. As we've seen, Megyn Kelly said campaign finance is a federal offense. Mr. Bragg here is a state prosecutor. He cannot bring a federal offense to the state and try the guy. But they tried it anyway. They did anyway. And this is why everybody believed that it's going to be overturned. But we got some more. Go. Out of interest, why is Bill Clinton able to have sex with an intern in the Oval Office when he's president and lie to the American people about it on national television? And why is he able to pay off Paula Jones $850,000, four times as much, five times as much as the Trump payment to Stormy Daniels, um, to get rid of a harassment claim, again, while he's president? And he has no criminal court recourse for that. Why is that deemed to be better than what happened with Trump and Stormy? I, I don't think anyone is making that case, Piers. I'm no, not I'm asking you. What's Bill the difference? Clinton or any, What's the difference? Or any predator. The difference is, is that he didn't cook the books financially using his own, like, using back channels in order to pay So paying somebody off who off. says you saw a harasser, paying a nearly a million dollars while you're the president of the United States, and then having with an intern in the Oval Office and lying about it, that's fine because he's a Democrat. <laughs> Piers, only, only the leftists in your mind are making that argument. Sorry? Now you see Piers Morgan paint her in the corner again. He compared what Bill Clinton did with Paula Jones, giving Paula Jones $850,000 and had... Uh, uh, at the White House with uh, Lewinsky and there was no charges to Bill Clinton. And you could see her trying to wiggle her way out of it, but she couldn't do it, right? Bam. I do want to just say, look, so the crimes were falsifying business records. Now, the reason I didn't know that before is because I'm not a lawyer and I'm not the journalist who is anchoring this entire show who should have told you that it was falsifying business records. Now, on and the other because point, those aren't felonies, I hear you yeah. that most Americans don't care about falsifying business records. I agree with Kevin and I agree with Piers. However, I will say this. Most Americans also are very much go on gut. And they don't like that a candidate has been, is now a convicted felon. But moreover, this candidate is someone who, and it is not the crime, however we know, cheated on his pregnant wife with a porn star in a hotel in Lake Tahoe and then bragged about it and then tried to pay her to shut up and oh, also paid another uh, uh, Playboy bunny to also be quiet about Bill their relationship. Clinton, that Bill Clinton sit had well sex with, with a lot of American intern people. You're going back to Oval Bill Clinton because it's the only thing you have. She's not the only one. All right. I've been watching the news for the last three or four days trying to find out which liberal out here can articulate 
the verdict and nobody can. This is Donald Trump melting down in the aftermath of the news that he is now a convicted felon, found guilty on all 34 felony counts of falsifying business records related to hush money payouts he made to secrete an affair he had with a porn star from the American people. He complains here that he wanted a venue change, even though the crime quite literally happened in New York City. He was at Trump Tower and yet doesn't think the crime should have been prosecuted in Manhattan. Let me guess, he'd have preferred Oklahoma, right? And of course he goes on to blame Joe Biden. But no matter how many times he insists that Joe Biden is responsible for this prosecution, not only isn't it Biden's prosecution, but Biden's DOJ actually passed on it. The Department of Justice actually could have prosecuted this case, but opted not to. So no, Joe Biden is not prosecuting Donald Trump. Donald Trump is being prosecuted because he, Donald Trump, made the conscious decision to falsify business records, which he knew was a crime, and therefore why he made Michael Cohen do his dirty work for him, by the way, because he wanted to hide an affair that he had from the American people before the election. Shit, even Alvin Bragg could explain it. Nobody can explain this. They just found him guilty just because. You know, I, I don't mean to pick on Francesca too much here, but it's a very telling that even the me. liberals who are going on television to defend this ruling have to Google in the breaks to figure out what the crime was. <laughs> and and even then, I'm sorry to say, misrepresent what, what the actual supposed crime was. The Shit, hey. We're going to figure this out. We're going to straighten this out hopefully this will go to the supreme court soon and it'll be turned down but anyway that's the thoughts for the day if you guys got any value out of my content do me a favor hit the like hit that subscribe you see that notification bell turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest share this content with your best friends and tell your mama i said hi <laughs> All right, all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And all you female comedians, get your ass out of here.